Jesus the only foundation of the church. For no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. The only foundation that we need is Jesus. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 and 25. The Lord himself, himself said, Therefore, whosoever heareth this saying of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which builds his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. Apart from him, there is no strong establishment. May we make him the very reason and intent of our individual home, our trade, and our church, our one true foundation. Let him be so. Next, we will have the children's choir singing, Oh, How I Love Jesus. I will tell you who is in the children's choir. Maybe children can raise your hand quickly so we don't know who you are. Angel and Angela Kersey, Chloe, Bryce, and Brandon Padin, Danielle, Ellis, and Elijah Elma, Adara and David Villanisa, Enrico and Nayeli Gavas, Ileana McEwen, Nave and Ethan Morales, Ayrton Peregrino, Nathan Lagundi, Jabari, and Natasha Campbell. We'll be singing, Oh How I Love Jesus.
running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing of his life forevermore. Psalms 133. And also from Colossians, Paul teaches us about unity. Uh, from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against one another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through it. Now we will have Luis Villanisa on the saxophone with God rest you merry gentlemen, oh and away in a manger.
will listen to Van Lina Gavas on his clarinet as he interprets O Come All Ye Faithful and A Trust Medley.
what a blessing to be in a church with so much musical talent. Amen. Amen. Next, we will have our handbell choir, our chimes choir. Go ahead, chimes. This choir is composed of Danielle Elnar, Chloe and Bryce Bavin, Ileana McEwen, Nave Morales, Adara Villamizan, Selena Kessie, and Evelinda Kessie. They will be playing two songs for us, O Come All Ye Faithful and O Come, O Come Emmanuel.
choir. I think it's so wonderful to see children sharing their gifts for God. And I think that speaks very highly of their, their parents and what they're instilling in their children at such a young age. Um, the Bell Choir was directed by Luis Villamizar and the Children's Choir by Bell Galas. Now we will have our church choir sing a couple of songs. So as the choir is getting ready, I have a question for the congregation. Does anybody know when this choir was formed? Anybody who's been here for more than one year, like myself? <laughs> so this choir was formed six years ago by our leader, Dorothy. And ever since they've been praising God, the members have come in and out. So I will um, tell you who is in the choir currently. In the soprano section, we have Belle Gavas, Elmira Padin, Shelley Simmons, Nayasha Campbell, Helen Faderon, Lee McCallum, Tarika Sewell, Chloe Padin, and Danielle Elmar. In the altos, we have Joy Pelopero, Nida Pelopero, Violeta Riamizar, Jovi Onsico, and Sabina Mauricio. In the tenors, we have Dodi Pelopero, Danielle Elnor, Gerald Terry, and Colin Campbell. The basses, Luis Villamizar, Evans Kessy, Andrew Padin, Norberto Pelopero, and June Mayor. We will be singing four songs. And um, our speakers will be Darlene Simmons, Jeffrey McEwing, and Cesar Silva.
coming of our Lord. Come to remember when God visited the earth in the form of a child. And we meet to worship the Lord and to celebrate the new life He offers us. We pray that we will experience God's presence in a fresh way. This is the true meaning of Christ's birth. The angel said he would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. God is always with us, but when we welcome his spirit into our hearts and minds, we experience the comfort and the power of God's presence. Before Christ came into the world, God's people awaited his arrival for centuries. So now we wait that God will move among us and we listen to the story of the miracle of Christ Jesus. The psalmist says, The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the one who seek him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Let us be still before the Lord and patiently wait for him. While the world waited, the Spirit of God was stirring. Angels began to appear and brought messages to earth as they prepared for Christ's birth. And the angel said to Mary, Then an angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Fear not. Fear not. Fear not, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Fear not, Joseph, to take Mary as your wife. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Zechariah, your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call his name John. And behold, Mary, you will conceive in your womb, and you shall bring forth a son. And she shall bring forth a son. And you shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And you shall call his name Jesus.
saw the child, they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. You can join the Magi in their giving as we draw near to the Lord and open the treasure of our hearts. Instead of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we bring our gifts of love, adoration, and praise as we vow to worship the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace. When we are in the presence of the Lord, we feel His holy peace, and all is well. Because of Christ's birth, all is well between God and us. For through this great gift from heaven, we are reconciled with God and can experience the holy peace in our souls and new life in Christ. At this time, I'm going to ask the congregation to stand as we join with the choir to sing the closing song. <coughs>
His church, God's church, has one foundation, and it is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus died for this church, and now we are saved through His blood. Help us to always remember this as we face the coming days of this week. Help us all to realize that our foundation, our future, is the hands, is in the hands of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the blessings of heaven be with us. Amen. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ and the companionship of the Hill. Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. In his name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.